see what we have here. <gasps> and, oh my goodness, you can clearly see right here. Think or, oh, whoa, look at the color, you guys. Princess Toy Review. Hi, Prince and Princesses, it's Princess T. Welcome back to another episode of Sunny Experiment. So, in front of me, I have a few household items. So, if you guys want to do this science experiment at home, make sure you ask your parents for permission or for help. So, in front of me, I have some oil right here. And then, I also have some water, some food coloring. I also have some syrup and a container. So for this particular experiment, we are going to make a density tower or a density column. So that's why I chose this container here so that it could have all of our ingredients and we're gonna pour our ingredients in and then drop random things that I found around the house inside to see where they would sit on our density column. So let's get started by adding in some water. But before we pour this water in, we're gonna add some food coloring in. So I have a light green. I'm just gonna do one drop. Boop. Whoa, look at that, straight to the bottom. And let's mix it. What color are we going to get? And let's pour it in our container. And... Next up, let's add in our syrup. Remember, don't buy light syrup, just get regular syrup. Okay, so here we go. Going to pour it into our density column. And dun dun dun. Is it settling? It's settling in the bottom. What just happened, you guys? I poured the syrup in and it went all the way down to the bottom. So, the density of water is one gram per milliliter. And since syrup is more dense, it went all the way down to the bottom. So here in our density tower, if you look, there is a green layer from our water and then our syrup is at the bottom. There's a little area that's kind of mixed because it's still settling, so we're gonna wait for the syrup to settle. While we're waiting for this to settle, we're gonna go ahead and pour this oil in because this is going to have to settle. So, you guys, leave a comment below to let me know where you think this oil will be. Will it be on top of the water, underneath the water, underneath the syrup? Okay, you have five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour it in and we will all figure out together what the density of oil is. It's going in, go inside, go inside, go inside. Ooh, it's all getting all bubbly up right now. Whoa, that's super cool. Do you see the oil right here at the top? And then we have water and then we have our syrup. So the oil is settling in, so we're gonna have to wait for like, mm, maybe like 10 minutes. Hmm, what can we do in 10 minutes? Of course, let's open our adorable shortcuts with eight surprises inside. I have never opened this before. This will be my first time. It says 25 little sisters to collect. And it says eight surprises inside from series one. And these are all the goodies that you can get inside, but let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so there's a pull tab right here. And I really like this container because it's kind of like a shampoo. You know, voila! Get off a wrapper. Oh, look! There's Noah and her friend. I'm not sure her name. If you know what her name is, leave a comment below to let me know. So, look, there's like so many layers here, I feel like. Here we have our collector's guide. And I guess let's just start by the top. I'm not sure how to really open this. Okay, it says three, four. So, let's start at the top right here. Pop open one. <gasps> That is so cool. Okay, so what is in layer number one? What is this? It's all wrapped up. 
What is it? What is it? What is it? Is it clues? Is it shoes? Is it? Oh, it's a surprise inside of a surprise inside of a surprise. That is so awesome. Dun, dun, dun. And what do we have here? Oh my goodness, it's a hair clip. Let me try it on my hair. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. That and there we go. What do you guys think? So cute. Okay, so that was the first layer. Let's open up number two. I love this container. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. So it's a surprise. Inside is a surprise. Who wants to bet if there's a surprise baggie on the inside? Oh, and there is a surprise. Okay, so what are we gonna have here, you guys? What do you think is inside? Oh my goodness, it's like a scrunchie with like cute dog bones. It doesn't fit in my hand though, look at this. Look, oh, maybe it's for the doll. Okay, so we have that, and then let's open one more layer. We have number three here. Dun, dun, dun. What is this? What on earth? Oh my goodness. My hair adorable shortcuts must love pets or something because this is like a little kitty cat and it has all this hair. And I have another one with all this hair. And oh, look at this. Meow, meow. It's like a little kitty cat that's attached to a leash. Let's check up on our science experiment. Oh, it's settling, it's settling. We'll give it a few more minutes because we need to open surprise number four. What's behind this door? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Look at my cute little hair normal shortcuts. Apparently she loves the roller braid because check out her shoes here. One's blue and red. And check out her cute outfit. And look at this cute smile and Hey, I found some holes. This must be for her hair. So we're gonna put this in. Oh my goodness, she is too cute, you guys. Put the other one in like so. And then we have her accessories here, but we're not done yet. There's still a few more things in here. So let's dump it out. Here we have a stand and we have her collector's card. Her name is Robin, her favorite color is Robin's Egg Blue. Her big sis name is Cat, and her favorite activity is training her hamster. Oh, this must be her hamster. Okay, okay. Here we go, and then she has her cute little hamster, and I guess this clip is for me, and a little scrunchie. Let's see if I can tie my hair with this. Let's see. I don't think I can hold all of my hair. Let's see. Maybe I'll tie like this much up. Let me try. Okay, hold on. I think I got this. I think I got this. Oh, what do you guys think? Isn't it so cute? Okay, so we got that. And we actually should look at our collector's guide now. So, here we have our guide. Let's see if we can find Robin. Where is she? Over oh, right here. Cat's little sister. And this is, which one is it? Which one is it? Dog walking Robin. Hmm, so maybe a little dog. Hmm. It also comes with a stand. So we have this piece here from one of the compartments from earlier. You can put that there. And then she can hang out right there on her stand, just like so. And then the last cool thing before we continue with our experiment is this clip. You can actually take out her hair and clip it onto here, just like so. And then we could take out her other one here and clip it on just like so. And then I can clip it on my hair. Okay, let's try. Uh, clip and then I can clip it on. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. What do you guys think? Cute, 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 not cute. Leave a comment below, let me know. Okay, moving on to our science experiment. We are finally done waiting for the sensory power. So as you can see, we have our oil, and then we have like a light brown area that was supposed to be green, but it's light brown, but you can tell that's water. And then at the bottom is this dark brown color that's gonna be our syrup. So the layers are right here. Now it's time to put some household things in. Okay, we are gonna start with, I'm curious to 
find out what the density of scissors is. Where will it sit? Okay, let's find out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-oh, it's heavy. Is it heavy? Oh yeah, it's pretty much in the syrup area. So we have it right here at the bottom. So it's gonna be heavier than water. So it's down there. Next up, what I got? Crayons. I have two different crayons. Do you guys think that these have different density? We'll find out. We're gonna drop this green one in. <gasps> it's on top of the oil. It's floating right there. What about this one here? Same thing there. Hmm. What's next? What's next? What about this toy car? Hmm. Okay. Let's go in. Let's go in. Where are you going to be, toy car? <gasps> Where is it? It went missing. <gasps> Do you guys see the toy car? Oh. Let's turn the container. Uh, it's not in the water. Nope. It's not in the oil or the water. So it is in the syrup. So the density of this toy car is heavier than water. What about my finger? Hmm. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below to let me know where you think my green finger will be. Okay, let's put it to the test. And whoa, that's floating on top of the oil. Next up, a seashell. Let's try to listen for the ocean. Oh, sorry, got distracted. Gotta drop this in my density column and boop. Whoa, that's flashing. Where is it, where is it? Let's see if we can find it, friends. It's right over here next to our pair of scissors, right over here. It is in the syrupy area. The spoon, you guys. Where do you think it'll be? Leave a comment below to let me know where you think this spoon will be. Okay, let's throw it in my column and as you can clearly see right here. Take a look at this yellow layer. It is in the oil area. Oh my goodness. Got some bottle caps. Hmm, where will this be? Let's find out. Huh? 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 Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? Oh, I think it went to the bottom because I don't see it in the water. It must have sank down here in this dark syrup area. So the density of the bottle caps are more than water. Hmm. This is an interesting science experiment, don't you think? Let's try some more items. Okay, what do we have here in our pocket? Ooh, we got some rocks. Okay, got two rocks here. They're two different colors. I don't know if they'll be the same density or different density, but let's find out. Whoa! That made a mess, but where did it go? Oh my God. Friends, it went to the bottom right here. Hmm, what should we try next? Let's try this pen and pencil. We have our LOL pencil. Oh no, it's about to get super oily. Okay, we're dropping it in. And where's the pencil going to sit? Let's see. Come on, get in there, get in there. Ooh, let's see. Push it down, let's see what happens. It floats up, it's in the oil area. And what about this pen? Oh, that pen is in the oil area too, you guys. What about these nails? Let's try. Ooh. Find the nail, find the nails, find the nails. Where are they? They're right there at the bottom, you guys. They are more dense than water in the syrup area. Okay, next up, let's go with our friend Stitch. Oh, I wonder where he'll be. Let's go for a swim, Stitch, and boop. He's in the oil area. Hi, friends. I have a soccer ball. Let's see if it bounces. Nope, it does not bounce. But let's see where it is in our column. And boop. Whoa, that splashed everywhere. Where is it? Where is our ball? Oh, you can clearly see it right there. It's making a little bubble. Whoa. Pink gumball. Let's find out. Where is it? It's right there in the oil area. Look. It's hanging out next to the LOL surprise pencil right over here. Next up we have our friend Pez, the emoji Pez. Where do you think this will be? I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say in the oil area. Okay, let's see what happens. And I was 
right, hanging out in the oil area, head down. Talk, tick, tock, gears, our little timer. This one is for five minutes. Okay, I'm gonna drop it in like this and find out. <gasps> it's in the oil area, you guys. Okay, we have a few more items, like this tiny little marble in there. I don't even know if you guys see it. But I can pick it up. Okay, got a tiny little marble. Pay close attention to this. And, where is it? Did it fall to the bottom with the nails? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, wait a minute. If you look closely, it's right there at the bottom next to that nail. We have this toy here. It's like a toy slushy. Let's put it in. That just floats right at the top, right there, you guys. Next item, when life hands you lemons, put it in your science experiment. Okay, where do you think they'll be? I think it's gonna float on top of the water. Let's see what happens. Huh. Hey, it's right on top of the water, right there, in between the two layers there. Hmm, what about this lime? Well, let's find out. Make some room, make some room, and... Hey, same thing with the lemon. It's hanging out next to each other, next to our crayon right there. And then, my favorite item of all, ketchup. Okay, you guys, leave a comment below right now to let me know where you think this ketchup will be. Will it be oil, water, or syrup? I'm going to guess water. Okay, let's see. And it's gonna go in, we're gonna make some room. And, nope, it's in the oil. Let me just shake it around to make sure. Yup, it's hanging out in the oil area right here. Okay, I just thought about something. What about candy corn? I'm super curious to see where candy corn will be, okay. So, I'm gonna open dish out. I'm gonna use my little helper over here. And, whoo! I'm actually going to eat a candy corn. Hmm. Just like how I remember it would be. And then, here we go, you guys. Where is it gonna go? Oh my goodness. You guys see it right there? It's in the syrup area. You know, right here at the bottom. So, candy corn is dense, you guys. Okay, last but not least, some Gatorade. Where is this Gatorade going to sit? I might have to shove it in here because this container is a little small. Oh, nope, it floats in the oil, just like that. Just hanging out right there on top, just like so. Whoa, that was super interesting. I hope you guys learned a lot today because I sure learned a lot today. If you guys want more science experiment, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye, princes and princesses. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Rah! Hi, princes and princesses. It's Princess T. I got some Halloween nails on and a giant fish tank in front of me. What are we doing today? A science experiment, of course. We are going to do the sink or float science experiment Halloween edition. Who's ready? Okay, so first off, do you guys know what the density of water is? Hmm. I told you guys the other day, if you know, leave a comment below right now. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if you said the density of water is one grams per milliliter, you are correct. Mm, but something is missing. This water here is too plain. We need to add some orange fruit coloring in to make it more Halloween-like. Okay, we'll just do that for now because I don't know the color of that. Whoa, look at that fall down to the bottom. <gasps> so awesome. Okay, I got my little mixing spoon here and let's mix it up, mix it up. Let's make our water orange. It's getting orange, you guys. Feel like Halloween in here. Ooh. Okay, perfect. Okay, so 
now we're gonna drop some Halloween items inside our giant tank to see if it will sink to the because it's more dense than water or a little to the top because it's less dense than water. So I have some items in my bucket right here. Take a peek and see what's inside. Whoa! And it's gonna be challenging using these claws. What do you guys think of my beautiful Halloween nails? Okay, let's get started. So we are going to draw, I'm not gonna look, what am I gonna have? What is this? Oh, some Halloween slime. Actually, I'm gonna save this for last. It's gonna be a surprise. I'll tell you guys why in a minute. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a Halloween skeleton hand. Sink or float, you guys. Sink or float. Sink or float. Five for three, two, one. Whoa, that floats because it's less dense than water. Mm, what's next? Let's go with his eyeball. Ugh. Someone's missing an eyeball. Okay, you guys. Sink or float. Sink or float. Leave a comment below to let me know if this eyeball Three, two, one. That floats. What about this pumpkin, you guys? Sink or float? I'm gonna say float. Because we put a pineapple in there the other day and it floated. So maybe this will float. If you haven't seen that episode, make sure you check it out. Okay, let's see. And it floats, I was right. On to the next item. Let's see what we have here. Let's see, let's see what we have here. <gasps> what is this? It's a spider. Oh my goodness. Oh, do you guys like these? Ooh, let's toss them in and see what happens. Whoa, that's one. That's two. Three, and they all float. Ooh, what do we have here? It's a rat. Ooh. Let's see. See your float, you guys. That's kind of light. Maybe it'll float. I don't know. It floats because it's less dense than water. Uh, ooh, my friend, Mr. Skeleton over here. Sink or float, you guys. Sink or float. Sink or float. Sink or. Oh, I'm toss him in there better. I think he floats. Yep. He floats. He's like swimming. He's swimming in the in the tank. Oh! So it looks like everything is fully so far. Hmm. But what about this baby pumpkin? It's so cute. What do you guys think? Sink or float? It's kind of heavy. All right, let's see. Oh no, I thought it was gonna sink, but it floats. I wonder if we have anything that will sink to the bottom. What do we have in here? Ooh, some candy corn. Who loves to eat candy corn? Leave a comment below if you love candy corn. I know someone that loves candy corn. Ellie Belly. I know you love candy corn. Okay, so we're gonna wing to, if I could do this, my claws. Grab some candy corn. Okay, and let's sprinkle it in. Oh my gosh, you guys! It sank to the bottom! Whoa! Hmm. Who would have thought that the candy corn would sink to the bottom? That is so cool. High five, you guys! Okay, moving on. What do we have next? Let's see, let's see. We have some slime. So I have an orange one, a blue one, a purple one, and a yellow one. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it in, sink or float. Five, four, three, two, one! And they all float into the top. <clears throat> what about these eyeballs? Sink or float? Let's find out. Oh, they float to the top. What about my little skeleton friend, Pen, here? It's kind of heavy. Let's see. Oh no, it's float to the top. Or I'll just mouth you guys. Shake or float? Shake or float? Here goes your one. Five, four, three, two, one. They float. Now what about 
these things. We got like this creepy, is it a centipede? I'm not sure. And some rings here. Let's see. They float. What about some sprinkles? Do you hear that? I think it'll sink or float. Hmm. Let's try it. Five, four, three, two. Whoa, it floats to the top. Hmm. What if we sprinkle these in there? Do you think it'll sink or float? Let's check it out first before we do. So we have some Halloween dots here. They're different colors. Oh, we got some ghost sprinkles. There's also some bats and pumpkins. And last but not least, some spooky sprinkles. They like little ghost shape. Okay, let's find out. Sink or oh, Whoa, look at the color, you guys. Oh, and they sink to the bottom. What on earth? Oh my goodness. So the actual sprinkle went all the way down to the bottom. And look at all of these cool colors. That's so awesome. Except frosting. Is this gonna sink or float, you guys? Take a wild guess. I think it may sink. I'm not sure, it's kind of heavy. Okay, so let's put it in here and find out. Whoa, it floats! Except we have this slime, you guys. It's orange and yellow. Do you think slime will sink or float? Let's find out! Did it sink? No, it floats. It's right there. Hmm, but what if, what if, what if? What do you guys think? Leave a comment below right now. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Sink or float, sink or float. It sinks bottom, you guys. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? Okay. Let's play with the slime in the water. Ooh. Let's see if we can bring it back to the top. Whoa! It sinks to the bottom. Wow, that is such a fun experiment. I learned a lot today and I hope you guys did too. If you guys would like more science experiment, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye friends and princesses. Bye. Hi friends and princesses, it's Princess T. Saying hi from behind a giant glass cake. Because today we are doing a sink or float science experiment with these sodas right here. So if you guys want to do the science experiment at home, just find yourself a container. It doesn't have to be a fish tank. It could be like one of those giant storage containers that's clear, or y'all could do like a smaller one and do the same experiment. So in front of me, I have this giant container. I have all these sodas. They're in different variations. We have big Coke, but small Coke, but then we also have like the diet versions. And then we have like Dr. Pepper. And then we have random other sodas, big and small versions. We even have a water and one in a bottle. Okay, so do you guys know what the density of water is? If you do, leave a comment below to let me know. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you guess that the density of water is one grams per milliliters, you are correct! So the density of water is one grams per milliliter. And if when I drop an object in, it is less than that, it will fall over the top. But if it's more, Coke and a Diet Coke. So, 
Let's do the regular coat. Do you think this will sink or float? Leave a comment below to let me know. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one, sink or float. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It sinks to the bottom. Okay, so the density of this is more. So it sinks to the bottom. What about the diet one? Let's see. Three, two, one. Oh, you guys, do you guys see that? It's floating to the top. Next up, we have Diet and Regular Coke, but in the small size can. Okay, so the regular one, the big one of the regular sink to the bottom, but then the big one of the Diet float. So, now we have the small one of the regular Coke. Let's see what happens. Let's drop it in here, and is it sinking or floating? <gasps> Whoa, that's odd. It's floating. Huh, what about this one here? Sink or float? Sink or float? Is it sinking or floating? <gasps> that totally floats. Okay, so we have those that float. Hmm, what about this here? Okay, so I have Dr. Pepper. So maybe, I have a hypothesis. What if the big one of the regular sink but then the small one doesn't have enough sugar in it, so it floats. Let's test out the hypothesis. Okay, we're gonna put the Dr. Pepper regular big can in. Let's see here floating. What's going on? Okay, that seems to float. Ah! What about this one here? That's see here floating. Okay, maybe Dr. Pepper just floats. Maybe Dr. Pepper floats. Okay, let's try with these and see. Okay, so this is diet. But you know what, diet has like less sugar. So maybe these float because the density is less than water. Okay, let's see. Is that gonna float? Okay, that floats. What about this one over here? Okay, so my hypothesis is right. Maybe the diet soda floats in general. Do we have any more diet? Let's see. Hmm, okay. This one's a diet and this one's a diet. So. Let's test our hypothesis. Maybe diet soda floats because the density is less than water, which is one grams per milliliter. Okay, we're putting in the diet ginger ale. Oh, that floats! What about this diet Pepsi, you guys? That floats too! Okay, so this is like a big can of regular Pepsi. So, if this is similar to the Coca-Cola, Maybe it'll sink, because that Coca-Cola one's at the bottom. Let's see. <gasps> Is it sinking or floating? It's making up his mind. What's going on? What's going on? It's like straight in the middle. I think it's floating, you guys. It's just this Coca-Cola over here that's at the bottom. Moving on. So I think these are the smaller cans. So I think these will actually float because I don't think there's a lot of sugar in them for them to sink to the bottom, but let's try. So we have Sprite, let's see what happens. Sink or floating, sink or float, sink or float. It's floating. What about this Canada Dry right here? Sink or float, sink or float. And last but not least, what about this root beer right here? Sink or float? Sink or... <gasps> it's floating, you guys! So far, it's just this Coca-Cola can. Okay, let's try water and Pepsi in a bottle. So, I have Pepsi in a bottle. Sink or float? It's kind of heavy, you guys. Let's see. Three, two, one! Whoa, that straight up floated to the top! Now, what about this water? Does water have the same density as water, you guys? What do you guys think? I think this is gonna float, but we'll see. Three, two, one. Oh, there it is, it's floating. This is very interesting. This experiment has got me curious. What about ketchup? My favorite thing in the whole world. Is it gonna sink or float? Sink or float? Leave a comment below, I'll give you guys 10 seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you leave a comment? Okay, good. And sink or float. <gasps> Whoa, that went straight to the bottom. My ketchup right there at the bottom.
Okay, prince and princesses, that's the end of today's science experiment. If you would like more science experiment, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, prince and princesses. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, prince and princesses, it's Princess T. If you guys are wondering where Princess Fam is and how come it's just Princess T, Princess Fam just had a baby named Princess Zoe. We posted a video a few videos back, so make sure you watch the episode to meet Princess Zoe. Okay, so moving on with today's video, we are going to be doing a science experiment with vinegar and baking soda. This is a super fun experiment you can do at home with your parents. Okay, let's get started. First, we are going to need some baking soda, some vinegar, four empty bottles. Make sure you pull off the layers so you can kind of see the clear bottles here. And then we also have a funnel. We also have some kind of measuring spoon, some balloons, and some food. Okay, step one, add some vinegar. Ooh, that smells. So ask your parents to do this part. And we're gonna pour it inside this container here. This should be a good amount. Now I'm gonna do the rest. Oh, remember, ask your parents to do this part because My favorite color, teal or Tiffany blue. So do one drop there and shake, 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 shake. Whoa, look at that pretty color. I love it. So next up, we're gonna do yellow. This is a pretty color. Also. Come on. Okay, we got yellow. Shake, 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 shake. Whoa, that's like magic. And we have purple. This is Princess Pam's favorite color. She's gonna come back soon. And shake, shake, shake. Voila! Got purple. So now we are going to take this balloon and this funnel here. We're going to open up this balloon and attach it to the funnel. Ask your parents for help. So we're gonna have it just like so. And then we are going to pour some baking soda into here. Um, we can put it in a Spoon if you like, or you can just pour it directly. I'm just gonna pour it directly. So we're gonna pour it just like so. And we're gonna shake, 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 shake so it could go in. Whoa, that was a workout and it smells, but I finally got baking soda into my balloon. So now we are just going to put this over, but I'm not going to like flip it yet. So it's over, but not flipped. So that way we can do it at the same time. So we got that one. We got a blue balloon here. I'm get my purple one right here. Again, ask your parents for help. It's not flipped. So another one here. Okay, so there we go. And last but not least, we have this pretty pink one. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. All done. Okay, so we have all our balloons. Hmm. Which one should we try first? I'm gonna go with this green one. Okay, so make sure you hold right here and then dump the baking soda in. I'm gonna make some room. Okay, let's see what happens to the reaction. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, okay, it's, it's blowing up, it's blowing up. Oh my goodness, and it's kind of cold. Check out this reaction, don't pop on me, don't pop on me. Calm down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, relax, relax, balloon. Okay, I think it's done. Should I pull it out? Oh, a little bit more. Okay, 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 we got this. Okay, and. Oh! <laughs> it's not coming out, it's stuck. Oh wait, it 
calm down. Okay, it's done. Check that out. Okay, that was a success. There was a reaction, it filled up the balloon. That was kind of scary. I honestly was really scared because that was the first time I ever did this in my whole life. And I didn't know what was gonna happen. So, now that we kind of know what's gonna happen, let's try this one. Let me just move this aside. Okay, and let's dump in. Things in here. I think today I'm gonna test out some fruits 
and some toys. So over here in my bucket, I have a whole bunch of goodies. Take a look. We have a pineapple. We got lots of other fruits like bananas. We even have tomatoes, apple. I got a lemon, a jalapeno. I know this is a vegetable. We have random toys like Gus the Gator, some Pop Pop. Oh, even got some LOL surprise and even a hair adorable shortcuts. But that's not all. I am really curious to see if my favorite thing in the world, ketchup, will sink or float. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our objects and drop it in here and we will see if the object will sink to the bottom or float to the top. Now, the density of water is one grams per milliliter. So if the object is heavier, it will sink to the bottom. But if it's lighter, it will float to the top. We're gonna save this pineapple for last because you know, this is the shebang. Okay, so looking in my bucket, I think I'm gonna go with this LOL surprise winter disco surprise glitter globe. Okay, do you guys think this will sink or float? Sink or float? Leave a comment below to let me know. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, it is less dense than water, so it's floating to the top. Hmm, that's interesting. Now what about this LL Surprise Lil? Do you think it'll sink or float? Cause it's smaller? I don't know, here we go, three, two, one. Whoa! Okay, that totally floats, so it's less dense than water. What about, okay, wait a minute, what about this five surprise mini brain? Okay, let's see. Whoa, okay, that's gonna float. Okay, how about we change it up? What about this banana, you guys? Sink or float? Sink or? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Whoa, is that sinking or floating, you guys? Hmm, I think it's floating. Okay, so the banana's floating. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Hmm, okay, what about Gus the Gun the Gator? Sink or float, sink or float. Three, two, one. Bonk. Well, he floats, okay. What else do we have in this bucket? Let's see. Hi. This lime and this lemon. Okay, let's take it over here. Sink or float? Sink or... Is that floats or is it sinking? What's happening? It's making up his mind. Okay, that's floating and that's floating over here too, right? Let's see, I push it down to the bottom. Let's come back up. Uh-huh, let's come back up. Okay, that's gonna float. Okay, let's check out this num num. Okay, that floats too. What about Pop-Pop? That floats too. What about my LL Surprise Lils from the Makeover series? That floats too. Hmm. What about this jalapeno guy? Sink or float? Leave a comment below right now. I'm giving you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That floats too. Splash me in the face. Hmm, what else can we put in there? What about this apple? Sink or float? Let's see. Whoa, what's going on? It totally floats. Next up, some strawberry spread. I'm not gonna throw this in because I make a big splash, so we're just gonna gently put it right here. Okay, what's gonna happen? Do you think it's gonna sink or float? Sink or... <gasps> Now, what about these two items here? So I have some store pre-made slime and some glitter glue. What do you guys think? Sink or float? Sink or float? Sink or float? <gasps> wait, wait, what's happening? <gasps> oh, it's making up its mind. That one is like in the middle. Wait, or is it floating? <gasps> that one's kind of floating. Hmm, 
That one might have a similar density to water because it's kind of in the middle. I'm not sure about that slime right there. Hmm. I don't know. This is an iffy. Let me try it one more time. Oh, this thing here floating. It's floating. Okay, moving on. Let's go with this unicorn squad. By surprise. Okay, that floats. What about, wait, wait a minute. I have a Mr. Ryan squishy. What do you guys think? Sink or float? Okay, that's gonna float. And what about this can of corn? Sink or float? One of my favorite things to eat is corn. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one. Whoa, that was straight. We have a Ryan's egg and a tomato. So inside this Ryan's egg, so you guys know, are some exclusive, what is it, putty. Okay, so we got putty and a tomato. Sink or float? Let's test this tomato first. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's floating. What about this Ryan's putty? That floats too! Well, what about this syrup, you guys? Sink or float? Sink or float? Okay, let's find out. Whoa! That went straight to the bottom, so our food items are going on the bottom so far. Hmm, let's see, what else we have? What about this balloon? Sink or float? Let's make some room and... Okay, that totally floats. Okay, what else do we have in this bucket? Let's see. Hmm, okay, I got a Pez. Sink or float, sink or float. Three, two, one. Okay, that floats. Okay, down to the last two items. I have pineapple and ketchup. Okay, let's go with this pineapple. I'm gonna make some room, just in case it floats. Okay, my favorite thing in the world, my pineapple, because my favorite quote is, if you could be anything, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Okay, let's see. Move side, move side, and three. Two, one. Is it sinking or is it floating? <gasps> Whoa, make room for my pineapple. <gasps> I think it's floating, you guys. Hmm, I totally thought that was gonna sink to the bottom, but it floats. Okay, what about this ketchup, you guys? My favorite sauce in the whole world is ketchup. I eat ketchup with ketchup. Okay, sink or float, sink or float. I'm gonna guess sink, but I'm not sure because I was wrong with the pineapple, but let's see. Three, two, one. <gasps> it's sunk to the bottom. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look at this pen. <gasps> Do you guys see that pen? Out of the cord. It sinks to the bottom too. Oh my goodness. That's the first toy that we have that sinks to the bottom. Super interesting science experiment. Okay, you guys, give this video a big thumbs up if you would like more sink or float science experiments. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends and princesses. Bye.